constant sorrow all through his day. Hey guys, it's actually, to be honest, a beautiful day here in Fairfield, Ohio, and Fairfield Township. Um, for the past couple days, it has been raining off and on. Why, I don't know, but I am glad because we barely got rain until, like, sometime last month. It, I was completely surprised that it was raining two days in a row. But, uh, I went down to go get the mail, because you know how I love getting the mail. Uh, it looked, looked like nobody had gotten the mail in, like, two days, like, nobody, Friday and yesterday, because my dad, he usually gets his checks on Friday in the mail, and it was, he had a check, uh, in the mail today, and today, so, today for me is Sunday, so, that's how I know nobody's gotten the mail for, like, a day or two, so, I'm about to go cut the grass, because it need, actually needs cut. Um, you guys are probably wondering, why does it need cut in October? Well, it still needs cut. But So I'm going to go do that right now. For me, it'll probably be like two hours. For you, it'll be one second. So see you in a second. Okay, so I just cut the grass not too long ago, about an hour ago. You know, It takes me about an hour and a half, two hours to cut the grass. Um, if you guys, you know, I, I love cutting the grass. I love it. You see, but don't like the spring, late spring, early summer. The only problem with cutting the grass is that I have really bad allergies at the, during the spring, very, very, very beginning of summer. I have really bad allergies, especially this year. 2015 year, it sucked for me. I was sneezing all the time. I was constantly blowing my nose. I mean, if any of you are like that, I mean, you you understand my problems with allergies, you know? I, allergies suck. I hate it. During the spring, all the pollen and all that, get it going around, and then it, it just sucks. Ugh, I hate allergies, but yeah, I was cutting the grass, I just got done about an hour or so ago. So, you, I can usually cut the grass on a full tank of gas, the front yard, and so when I got done with the front yard, well, halfway done with this portion of the yard right here, you see, this portion, ha when, I, when I was half way done with the portion like th those are goal that was like standing by Hoko you know that it's, if you can see it, it's that front one right over there it's that front one she was standing there and I was like uh what is she doing is she trying to watch me does she want want something for me, and then I saw another red coat come by, which was the one behind it, and she was waiting for him, but I didn't know what she wanted, like, like, what, why was she just standing there, I mean, I, I didn't know, I mean, like, what, what was she standing at, what was she waiting on, what was she thinking, I I don't know. It, it was really, really weird. I I can't explain it how weird it was. So, uh, I I, I want to tell you a funny story. Uh, it was Friday. No, no, it wasn't Friday. It was a uh, kind of Thursday, kind of leading into Friday, kind of. So Thursday after marching band, uh, my best friend's mom picked me, him, and another friend up from band. And so the 
one of the drum majors, if, and if you band people understand what I'm talking about, but one of the drum majors, he drives a PT Cruiser. So he pulled up next to us, and all three of us guys were <laughs> waving at him. His, his name is Noah. And so, if any of you guys are into Kelsey, there's ten foil things that you put that are inside the coal, but covering like the windshield kind of thing, you know, like, here's the windshield, but like, if you're not like using it, there's like tin foil across it, you know? I, I don't know if you, any of you know what that is or not, or what it's called, but if you know what I'm talking about, um, he pulled that out, uh, and he, he covered the driver window, so he went kind of look at us, and he, then he was kind of like peeking through a crack, kind of, and me, and me, John, and our other friend's name was Billy, and we, we just kept wa waving at him, and then he brought it down, he started waving, and, um, he then both of us rolled down the window, the passenger side and the back passenger side, and he rolled down his window. And we just started talking for like a minute until the lights turned green. And then yesterday, no, not yesterday, Friday, uh, Friday, uh, we were practicing, kind of rehearsing for a parade because it was homecoming and, and we have a, a parade for homecoming. So we we're rehearsing for that before it started and I asked him, so how was yesterday for band? And he's, he, he was like, what? And then he started remembering and he says, hopefully you guys don't know where I live now. And so, that, so I told him, we don't, you turned at a certain point and we kept going straight and it, it was really hilarious, it really was, you should have been there watching, <laughs> it, it, it was freaking hilarious, like, I can't even explain how hilarious it was. Uh, last night I was watching a TV show called Matt Franco Got magic. I don't know how many of you heard of him or the show, but I was watching it last night, and uh, I think he was, like, one of the very first magicians to win America's Got Talent, and to be honest, he actually makes magic look real. Like, I guess uh, magic is real. I mean, I don't really think magic is real. I mean, code tricks, I guess you, it is, but not really. But um, he had like smokes coming, smoke coming out of his hands. Like, hold on. Like he had his hands kind of like, cut together like that, you know. And then and there was like smoke coming out of it, you know, that kind of thing. But um, and then he then. He had this one, he had two girls there. One of them said a name and a quote, like a name that inspired her and all that. And the and a quote that actually he said that inspired her. And then he, like, 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 you know how uh, when you blow out a candle, you know, he kind of did that with the smoke up into the sky. And uh, he said, and then the quote was up in the sky. I was like, whoa, what? Like, how does that even happen? I mean, I really think magic on TV is staged. I really think that, but it might not be, but it might be. There's a chance that it may or may not be, but, you know, but, like, really, that that was unbelievable if it was actually real. It was, it's unbelievable. So, I am like four or five subscribers away from my 
goal. My goal is 25 subscribers. I don't know how many of you know that or not, but it is. 25 subscribers is my goal. Most of the time I say it's a quarter of a hundred, you know, but it's 25 subscribers, which is my goal, and I'm like four or five subscribers away from it. Like, really, in two months I've gained 20 subscribers in like two, three months I've gained 20. And my friend Logan, he has a channel, uh, he had a f his channel 15 days longer than I have, and like, how can I get more subscribers than somebody that had their channel 15 days longer than me? How? I mean, and I even asked him, how? How do I have, how do I almost triple how, how do I come somewhere between quadrupling to doubling your number? I mean, it, he was like, well, maybe people like your videos better. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, he has pretty good videos and all that. But, yeah, you know, but I will uh, try to put his channel name in the descriptions. Uh, if I can, so ho hopefully I can. Uh, I want you guys to go subscribe to him. So just like, hey, like I think like if you want to, you can, and if you actually like his videos, I mean, you can do that too. But I want you guys to literally blow his channel up, not like blow it up, I mean like just subscribe to it, blow it up, you know, like, I don't let, let him know what I'm doing, he probably subscribed to my channel already, I haven't checked, but um, just do it, just do it, <laughs> just subscribe to his channel, just don't, if you, don't let him know I'm telling you to, just don't let him know. Just don't. Just go subscribe to his channel. Give him likes on the videos you like. Just go. Just go do it. You know, I kind of like it when the clouds are orange like that, you know. It kind of seems like really peaceful, you know. Oranges, yellow, kind of like a yellow orange, light orange, dark yellow kind of thing. I I really actually like it like that. I don't know how many of you like it like that, but I do. I just really think it's actually kind of relaxing, you know. It's I I really think it's actually really relaxing. That's why, like, sometimes I like sitting outside, being outside on nice nights when it's kind of not too hot, not too warm, but also not too cool, you know? For those that, you know, like being outside, you, you probably know what I mean, you know? Just like being outside. And I'm looking over here, you know? I mean, just look at these clouds right here, just orange, you know, just really orange, it's just, you know, really, I, I personally like it, I don't know about you, but I just find it kind of soothing, calming, you know, alright, uh, I gotta, I wanna end this vlog here, cause it's, um, 7.20 right now, I want to go inside, do a little bit of homework, and get ready and go to bed, you know. I want to have my homework done by like 9.30 so I can, at, at least 9 so I can stay up and watch like an episode of something, you know. Just like watch a little bit of TV and or something, and just talk to my mom or somebody, but, um, 
I'm gonna end this vlog here and go inside and do a little bit of homework. So thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the people that have already subscribed. So yeah, thanks for subscribing. You, you see, the reason it's still getting darker now since uh, last time, since I've turned off the cameras, I was trying to reprogram that. So, sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for uh, subscribing if you have already. Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want, um, please subscribe. Please, uh, if you have already, if you have subscribed already, please tell your friends, your family about me, like what kind of stuff you like about me, and I hope I see you next time. Remember, shine bright, alright? Shine bright, shine bright like that light, or maybe that light. Shine bright, everybody. Yay!